Hello, we're back to playing the Doomcore trilogy, and currently we are on the 28th map, I believe, of Reverie, which is called Turbine Accelerator. So this is one of the earlier map ideas, actually one of the earliest besides uh, map 20, or yeah, map 29. That's right, I almost said map 21 for some reason. But yeah, so the last three maps are actually the earliest ideas I had for this whole Mega Mod, funny enough. And I know, of course, I've probably mentioned before that the whole idea for this Mega Mod actually was started from a dream that I had for map 29 in particular, which is a really small map. But then shortly after that, when I was thinking about it, I just kind of had this vision or this idea of the maps that would come before and after it. Okay, so I just took a secret, by the way. <laughs> I can telefrag the two arch vials. So it's pretty useful. And so I felt like these were some ideas that I had really early on, just before I even really knew that I was going to go through with actually making a megawad. It was just kind of an idea I was entertaining for either a three level wad in general, or even potentially a community pitch for a project of some kind. Whoa, <laughs> he just showed right up. Gave me a good wake up call, a swift smack to the face. It's got these weird doors again. I just really like it. Again, it was definitely Icarus, Map 29, that influenced me for that one. Boy, I need some health. Now there's going to be some Mancubus enemies nearby. I'm pretty sure I left some health down here. Oh, some armor I can't get just yet. And of course, <laughs> Cyber Demons. Okay, that's going to have to do for now. I do like, of course, the metal themes. The other idea, actually, since I grabbed that computer map, is you can see the structure of the map is completely di um, <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Interrupting myself. It's completely diagonal in structure, which is, I feel, partially inspired from the structure of Ghost Town. I guess that was pretty much the idea, somewhat. But I did kind of envision this map as being a metal themed map and just having that odd structure for some reason it just seemed really characteristic for a map of the structure. I don't like these little metal pillars here. It adds detail to this scene but it's not going to help me in dodging if I'm going to get stuck on any one of them so I know, it's not the most interesting way to handle this, but... Of course, I got all the toxic waste I gotta look out for as well. Let's just take the last one out. Slip right through. I feel like that weird sort of lift being used to cross into all those areas was also influenced from uh, Kristen Cly, I think. I don't know if there were any maps where he actually did that, but it does kind of feel like an odd little progression structure thing from one of his maps. It kind of reminds me anyway. Okay, blue key. And I don't think there's anything down here. Yeah. Nice looping hallways. I do like the structures, even if it's not the prettiest to look at. Since, uh, well, some textures kind of cut off at different points. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm going to watch myself here. Yeah, sure enough. Them chainers. I always love these long pipes. Like, they kind of remind me a little bit. Like, ju just this entire room is like a huge pipe of some kind. Kind of like a 
the sewers from Plutonia. Yeah, it's kind of like a combination of those things between uh, just being a metal map of some kind and then having a little bit of sewer type area. This area is a little bit odd with the, uh, well, with the lift function as you walk into the room. Not in particularly good condition right now, but kind of curious to see. Maybe there's some more health. I think if I walk back here, yeah, there's a backpack. I can get these monsters to infight each other, though. Uh, of course. Just need them to start engaging. Those chain gunners over there can be really helpful. Come on. Well, they are kind of fighting a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this lift maybe can be a little bit of a bother in some areas. I guess these guys are pretty much triggering that f function. Whoops. Ah, and there he goes. Got himself stuck, maybe. Ah, great. <laughs> Just got so much meat. Just gonna deal with it. Don't have too many shells either. Guess I gotta stick with this. Uh, some little bit of health. I just gotta not die here. Thankfully, there's some barons, so good baron fighting going on. Do you like the big, cracked, scrolling textures in that room? It's just kind of odd. In a fun, doomy sort of way. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to fire. Oh, come on. He's being really bashful today. Oh yeah, I don't have many shells left. Holy cow. That was pretty darn close. Red key, so... I also like how the starting area, when you do lower that floor, how you do see the cyber demons there, just waiting. It's just kind of an intense start, or at least it supposed to make you feel a little intimidated. Nice little misalignment there. Uh, I guess I could go this way. Oh. I was just thinking of maybe I could grab some supplies too. Maybe stock up a little bit. This is risky. I'll fire some rockets here though. This is also a bit odd. I don't know if I thought I was trying to save up on <laughs> the visuals and seeing too many vis planes, ironically. But with all these lifts, I don't really know what the deal was with this whole thought process. <laughs> it is pretty funny, though. Uh... So I'll use these for now. There's some good shells. Finally. And of course it zigzags here, probably once again just to break up some of the views. Ooh, bad. Oh man. See I knew that was gonna happen. 
had to get stuck on something. But anyway, I guess the intensity makes it a little more fun trying to survive. Can't be winners all the time. Of course, it does suck if you get really far into a map without saving, so... I only have myself to blame if anything happens. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. Alright, maybe we'll try this. Not too bad. Uh, health bonus. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Somebody's shooting. These angry goats. Get him out of here. Yeah, I know that there is a lift function there. I'm pretty sure it was also taken. Oh, shoot. What was that? <laughs> oh, okay. Had a big bad dude behind me and I wasn't paying attention. Wow, three health. So I really gotta hope there's something somewhere. I guess not here. Uh, I almost feel like, hmm, I feel like I'd be missing something. I don't think there's any more health here, but there is an armor I just picked up. Hmm, I guess not. <laughs> Five health. I think that's going for something that's a little too exciting for my taste. Oh boy. Just gotta jump over that. Oh good. Here we go. And actually I do know how to get that soul sphere. I do remember. Forget how many secrets are on this map, though. Uh, five? Hmm. So it's actually... not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> just go right in. It's just a mid-texture, I guess. Hiding a teleporter. I do feel like this map also was inspired from some of the bigger maps from uh, Final Doom. That was one of the other early inspirations, of course. Okay, I got a duck here because there's rockets following me. Oh boy. Oh, good. No, I almost telefragged him. Not quite, though. I gotta not lose what I have right now, though. At least try not to. Yeah, this tiny bit reminds me of Pharaoh. Just kind of, uh, or actually, uh, maybe a little bit uh, Caribbean. Like with that structure, the wood structure, sort of set up with the bridge all around the building. And then just the big open sand pit area, kind of like Pharaoh. Of course, I really liked those maps. The st staircase built up, and these guys are gonna try to calm down or come down. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> calm down. What the heck? I'm just trying to dodge, so <laughs> mine's a little bit divided. So I got all these dudes in here. Nobody else? Oh, thought so. I was pretty sure there were two of them. Uh, yep. Let's just give everybody good swift BFG tracer. 
with a healthy dose of rockets and a good super shotgun finishing touch. Nice. Got a little bit of the Bob Ross thing going on again, I guess. Oh yeah, I think this might be a secret. Okay, just gives you the mega armor. Cool. It's just that random little thunderbolt texture at the very end. Yeah, definitely random. Kind of cryptic once again, somewhat. Oh. Oh yeah, I guess I have to do the walkover line for the well for the lifts, and then this area. Yeah, this is something I'm pretty sure was in a Kristen Klein map where you had to run over some lifts to get something. Got these funny little crushers. Thankfully they're quick ones, I think, not the slow crusher that kills you once and for all. Uh, we don't see this enough. Yeah, no babies. <laughs> Lost souls. Oh yeah, and this has the deep liquid the self-referencing sector, which unfortunately, as you can see, these monsters can't even see me. So, it's just... Oh. Huh. Okay. Well. Not even responding. Just kind of go like this. Oh yeah, I see you now. I didn't recognize you through that self-referencing sector. Kind of goofy, I know. Really wasn't the best idea, I guess, for this area. I just kind of thought the deep liquid was really cool. So even though it does mess with these enemies, it does make these parts really cheap. Of course, it's just easier to rocket them from over here instead of using the super shotgun up close. So I almost feel like I'm a little forced to kind of cheat my own map. because I don't want to be firing rockets from up here or using the super shotgun when I have limited shells. So yeah, kind of bad decision on my part, I guess. Which I pretty much already said that, but anyway. All right, this should open the exit. It's hinted by that, I think. I forget if there's a, some... Oh, okay. Well, it says I already got all the secrets. I almost wondered if there was some secret way to get those shotgun... Well, the shotgun ammo, that is. Yeah, I do really like this map st structure. I think this last area is a bit silly. Pretty sure there's, yeah, a bunch of Hell Knights all surrounding the exit. Let's just do that. Cut our work down a little bit. There we go. Now the odd transition. Well, not so odd, but anyway. Yeah, so that's Turbine Accelerator. It just kind of had the inspiration of some Final Doom maps, some of the big ones, and just the idea of a metal theme and some sewer type areas. So it definitely feels like a huge, uh, it almost kind of feels like an amalgamation of a number of Final Doom ideas between the uh, ghost town map structure being diagonal, some sewer type areas, some little bit of uh, Pharaoh Caribbean, and I think a little bit of uh, Kristen Cly, which his work would actually be associated with the master levels more so than Final Doom. But anyway, it's definitely a lot of the uh, id released stuff. But yeah. So, and that was one of the earliest map ideas besides the actual first one, which would be the next map. So, 
Anyway, that's it for that map, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Take care.